Howdy and what's good everybody, White Tiger coming at you again uh, with yet another update to the mod pack that we've been, I've, I've been working on, whatever. Uh, anyways, uh, it's been a while since uh, we've uh, updated it and had these characters up on the screen. I'm sure y'all recall if y'all seen any other uh, videos I hadn't uh, come to the title screen like that. But uh, in the last, very last update we have, which is 42, uh, has 284 mods, and we finally got the characters back on the screen, as you can see here. And that's a ghostly looking gas. I've never seen that dude before, but I'm just really happy that we actually got the people or the players back on the title screen. I don't know why I'm sitting here rambling on about that, but I just think it's really cool looking. But anyways, uh, what I wanted to get into today. Um, uh, last uh, episode, I uh, went and showed, uh, you know, possibilities of what you can do to start off. Well, uh, I'm going to try to see if I can't kind of keep up with that and see if I can't find things that, uh, you know, people can actually use to actually progress through the game. Because I know a lot of middle to end things, but I really have absolutely no idea how to kind of start from the beginning. Because it just seems like nobody ever shows that. And, of course, I'm not the one to show it either because... Yeah, uh, it just, I, I really don't get too much game time, honestly, and when I do, I, I just, you know, try to play as much as I can, as quick as I can. So, uh, yeah, that's the reason for that. Man, this is taking a lot longer than I expected it to. Jeez. Uh, come on, come on. Load up a little faster. Well, I mean, 284 mods. I mean, I'm surprised the damn thing even works. <sighs> All right, here we go. So, to start off with, um, this is my Aethercraft setup here. I'm, I'm just now kind of starting to get into Aethercraft, and it's actually super freaking cool. See, like what I've did, what I've done here is I got a lava fabricator upstairs, which I'm about to show y'all. I got all the lava drain out into here, this igneous extruder, which is sitting here just making ungodly amounts of obsidian. And then it just takes all the obsidian and just puts it here into the aether machines. And we got a lot of aether, it looks like. But uh, anyways, what this what this aether stuff does, uh, let me just show you. Take like a single end of pearl, right? Pop it in the machine. Woo, look at that. A whole bunch of ender pearls. It's basically like a duplicating type thing, but uh, I just really wouldn't know what to call it. I mean, to me, this is better than um, equivalent exchange, and the reason is because it's so easy. I mean, for those that are, you know, want a little bit of a challenge or whatever, you know, there is equivalent exchange 3, so at least that's there, but anyways, uh, I just have a ran bunch of random stuff right now. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I still got the big reactor here, and uh, I honestly want to keep it just because it's already here and, you know, providing so much energy and everything, which everybody probably sit there and say, oh, you're cheating, you're cheating. I really don't care if I'm cheating or not, to be honest with you. And the reason being is because, A, I just really don't have all that much time to be able to play, like I said. And B, man, that just helps out with power so freaking much. So it's like, whatever. Anyways, um... Yeah, you can see all the ender seeds, uh, 3D furnaces. I put uh, a tank down here to get all my levels and everything, so that way I can be sure to keep my experience instead of dying and losing everything. Uh, let's see, we got the advanced genetics machines over here. I was able to get a bunch of uh, genetics going, but for some reason we're still having kind of problems with it. Like, I, I can click on this and get you know, the resistance and all the other stuff, but I'm supposed to have flight, and I don't for some reason, and every time I inject myself with the syringe, it just ends up crashing the entire server. So, we're just going to wait for that to update to continue on with that. Anyways, here's the lava fabricator that I was telling you about, just going to ender tank and going back downstairs and just pretty much being turned into ether for right now. Uh, just a random, random chest of stuff you know, all this other stuff. I went ahead and made a alloy smelter for Ender IO and a sag mill. And the sag mill, I prefer this over um, therm uh, dang it, thermal expansion. And the reason for that is because you can sit here and throw a bunch of flint in here and you'll be able to, 
you know get extra stuff that you weren't able to, you weren't supposed to before so I kind of like that uh, I think thermal expansion has updated their stuff to where it kind of does the same thing I'm not sure uh, I got a generator up here from progressive automation but just because I was trying to get into you know sustaining my own power without having to use a big reactor downstairs but since I got it why not use it you know and of course I haven't I wasn't able to make these things I've spawn them in or what have you but uh yeah anyways if you don't like it then you can uh, watch something else i'm sure uh we still have recipe conflicts which we have that uh quintuple one two three four five i guess anyways it's i guess it's a quintuple z config ah uh, dang it i forgot the name of the mod but anyways it's uh it's all the way at the bottom of the mods list uh, if you ever pull it up and that helps with stuff like this and why my head is in the air is because I morphed into a bat and that's the only way I have to fly for the time being but see whenever you get up too high to the ceiling it kills you I think it's because morph uh, thinks that you're still in a two block form and yeah that's the reason why so there's an update for morph that I haven't yet to get, but that'll be in the next, very next update. Um, I don't know why I'm showing you the bottom of that, but anyways, uh, up here is my essence berry form. Uh, get all this right quick, and of course I got the Tinker's Construct Smeltery. And even though I've got it in here, uh, this is all. Wait a minute, I had more than. That. Oh my gosh! Hey, I had a lot more molten iron in here. What happened to it all? It's like 54 ingots or something worth, but... Does Tinker's Construct, does the furnace sit there? If it just keeps stuff, does it just slowly eat it away or something now? That ain't cool. Anyways, uh, I was going to build a little power production plant here with a, uh aqueous accumulator and, and stuff, but I just never got around to it. And I got a Flans Mod box here, and the reason it's up here is because I was testing it, because our... Uh, um, our recipes are still conflicting. Uh, yeah, that's very helpful. But anyways, uh, now uh, the mod sauce, uh, Hermitcraft people, the people that make the mod sauce, they fixed it to where the recipes are are fine now. But we still have the problem. You see, it's trying to get an iron block from Chisel, which Chisel doesn't even have an iron block as far as I know. So yeah, that's still kind of boogered up. But don't worry, I'll find some way to get it fixed and going. We finally got Mistcraft in. Oh my gosh. Uh, Binary Mage finally got Mistcraft updated to 117 and you know I had to get this in here. Why? Because you can make your own worlds. And Yes, I know we have a mining world that'll sit there and spit out tons more ores, but I want to move out of this base here off spawn and I want to take the King Daddy DMAC route by making my own little island world or something that's just a floating island and then just kind of build up from there and whatever but uh, shoot, let's see what else has changed uh, yeah the Chris's I think it was Chris, no, it might have been Codebender I don't know uh, wait a minute it's on the other side my bad well since I'm over here I just want to at least show you what Codebender has done recently uh, that is so cool but anyways, whoa, sh god dang it, uh, it never freaking fails, every single bloody time, it's a damn creeper of some sort, that always has to ruin videos for YouTubers, but no, it's, it's worse, because this one is one of those damn weird ass creepers that have those weird ass things, extra powers or whatever, ah, go away, go away, go away. Ah, oh, another creeper. Some of them. Go away, go away, go away. Go away. Oh, little baby skeleton. Go away. Oh, man, man, don't, don't. No, come on, man. Don't do this. Don't do that. Sob. Ugh, whatever. One of these days, I'm going to find a way to get to where creepers can't just randomly blow up stuff. And yes, I know that there's a actual thing to where uh, you can type in like mob griefing disabled or something like that and it'll disable that but then again creepers will be pretty much pointless so that's the reason why I left them on and 
Yeah, that's why they can blow stuff up still. So, uh, I'm going to have to battle my way through this, because all this is not cobblestone. It's actually monster eggs, as you can see from Whalia up there at the top. What, am I, what are we looking at? What am I looking at? Whatever. But I'm going to have to battle my way through this to get back to the tunnel, uh, the transporter. So, I'm going to cut it for the moment, clear all this out, get that downstairs, and I'll be back. Alright, I'm back here. Uh, cleaned up all the mess and everything, pretty much. I'm not even gonna lie, I had to go into creative mode just to clear all this stupid crap out because once the. Oh man. Shh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, quick draw. That's right. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Anyways, what I was saying is those cobblestone eggs that. or the cobblestone that were really uh, silverfish. Uh, it actually has water inside of the thing that it makes, so whenever you sit there and break one, water starts coming out instead, so, yeah, I had to go into creative mode, I really don't care. Is there anything behind me? Okay. And them damn silverfish start breaking bricks and stuff, man, that ain't cool. I didn't know they could even do that, I didn't know that was the thing. Oh, stuff, okay. I can't pick it up because, of course, I got a full inventory. Uh, I gotta get over there because I just want to show y'all right quick that there's a. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Flying spiders. Holy sh. Nikes. Go, go, go. Ah, damn witch. You bastard. I'm so gonna die because of your ugly ass. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, never ends. Such as the life of a YouTuber, I suppose. God dang it. <sighs> oh well. Um, back. Alright. Oh, damn, there's a... How'd they get through? Hey, wait a minute, y'all can't get... Y'all ain't supposed to get through. No, 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 no. Y'all are not supposed to get through those one block windows. <sighs> Only in our mod pack, I swear. <laughs> okay, let's... I don't know what to do. I'm, I can either go in creative mode, but that's just not fun. I mean, I want to actually get in there. Oh, the ether is finished. Otherwise, it wouldn't be filling full of lava. That's cool. Uh, anyways, uh, let me just get get that. Oh, pfft, duh. Okay. Anyways, um, am I going over there without any armor? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I doubt there's anything in none of these shizwiz boxes. Screw it. Ah, oh, bastard. Go away. Yeah, go flying. What the hell? What the hell? Ah! Jesus Christ. Thank God I found this lucky sword. Otherwise, I'd be dying. I'm not dying. Oh, that's somebody else getting hit. Oh, that spirit thing. Whatever. Damn creepers. Yeah, haha, ha, you died. Buggers. Alright. Sheesh. Yeah, that's the only protection I get. Yeah, mm hmm. Alright, uh, did I die over here? Ziplock. Oh, that's our other, or one of our other players. That's cool. Isn't there like a way you can just click it and the stuff? No, 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 no. Go the hell away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Ah, Jesus, I hate dirt creepers. They're about as bad as them damn cobble head things, cobblestone egg maker, whatever. Ah, Jesus, really? And there went my lucky sword. Son of a. I like gravestone because of the world gen that it generates, like the gravestone area or whatever, but I do not. Some of a bitch. Jump. Go. Why do. Oh, I don't have a fucking elevator. I said the F word again. Ugh. I'm honestly wasn't trying to start, uh, start off this video like this, but uh, such is the mod pack. As soon as I go and sit there and try to do something worthwhile and oh everything wants to kill me not like it doesn't before but it's like they go out of the way to kill you or something 
Alright. Maybe this lucky axe will help help me out here. There goes nothing. Okay. That will help me get this. Oh, thank gosh. Okay. I can get some of my stuff back. Okay. Go away. Go away. Go away. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you either. Alright. Quickly. Armor. 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 Okay. Uh, there's so much crap I gotta get. Uh, oh, man. Uh, armor, armor. Oh, there it is over there. Just... And something's coming for me. What is it? Uh, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Okay. Alright. Oh, Jesus and Isaac. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come on, y'all. Leave me alone for just two seconds. Two seconds is all I want. Two. Not one. Two. Oh, jeez. Oh, God bless it. Oh, no, 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 no. Go away. Shit. This is going to be a dying episode, I can already tell. Mother of pus bucket. You know what? Screw this. It's my server. I don't care. I really just don't care. I just don't have the time for this. Uh, whatever. Alright. Piss off. Go on. Now. Piss off. And you got my you got my crescent wrench. Go get that back. Okay. Screw this. Give me a damn sword. Uh, good enough. Oh man. Right. Whatever. I can't do a search. Because there's something still kind of messed up with things. Good old tried and true diamond sword, I suppose, huh? Thank you, Mos Osmium Sword Back. Fool. Oh no! Ah, Jesus. Did I. Oh. Okay, this is so not an interesting episode. But then again, none of my episodes are, so... If you actually watch me, I guess you're kind of used to it, huh? <laughs> Alright. What are you so damn happy about? Go away. Dancing on my grave. How dare you? Fool. Alright. I'm piss scared if I break this thing in creative that's gonna just break apart I'm gonna lose everything but on the other hand if I get out of creative then they're just all gonna attack me all at once so what the hell okay that's a thing that is a thing if you sometimes break graves shit comes after you that's no bueno there's so much stuff alright do I have enough for a chest no, of course not. No, of course not. Of course not. <sighs> Don't want to get rid of everything. Ah! Down you go. Goodbye. Alright. I don't care. I just, I really, 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 really don't care right now. Y'all can say I'm cheating. Y'all can say I'm doing whatever. Y'all can say whatever you want. I just don't care at this moment. I can find a daggum chest. All I want is a simple chest. Thank you. Might as well just put it here. Alright. I need that back. Uh, okay. Alright, now. Here goes nothing. Ah, ants. Jesus H. God, go away. Yeah, kill, kill that witch. Kill that witch. That's right. You're my buddy, but you still gotta die. Cause you're gonna kill me. 
freaking. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I just don't really care right now. Come on, that's enough poison already. Jesus. God. I hear Isaac. Damn it. Ugh. Oh, no, 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 no. Jumping. I don't care what you are. You die. Okay, good. Oh, what am I so stupid for? Why am I stupid? Why am I stupid? Why am I stupid? Uh, fucking. Sorry, I didn't. I just can't control myself with these things. So I just had to sit there and cuss. Okay, that was all my stuff, and that lightning creeper just blew the hell up. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to quit recording. I'm probably not even going to put this part in the episode, but if I do, then y'all will get to laugh at me. <laughs> How did Bones get down here? Whatever. Alright, I'm cutting. I'm getting my crap back, and then I'm going to continue with this video, so hold on. Alright, I'm back again. Uh, that was an ordeal. Man, even going into creative mode and all that stuff, I still wind up losing a bunch of things. But at least I have my yellow rim dust still, but yeah, anyways, um, God, I done, after all this crap, I done forgot, what the, man, there's a lot of damn glitchy, glitchy things going on, uh, I don't know, whatever, anyways, um, oh, all my vampire pearls are cropping up, anyways, um, what I was trying to get to today before I kept dying, um, Oh god, what well, was Ada Craft? But uh, yeah, I just I I've completely blanked out. Now I've gotten so frustrated about all that stuff. I've just I've completely blanked out. I've done forgot what I was doing. So instead, for at least right now, uh, I can show you everybody around, see what all's going on. There's my one of my many mine shafts all the way down there. Uh, oh, yeah, in case you're wondering what this is, this is a stone miner from Progressive Automation. I hate it whenever you sit there and watch YouTubers and then they go sailing right by something and then you're just like, well, what is that? What is that? But you can't ask them because it's a video, so obviously you can't talk to them, but yeah. Uh, that was full of lava. Whatever. Anyways, um, crap, I done forgot what I was doing again. Oh yeah, I was just going to show off the base because I done forgot the first thing I was doing. Alright, uh, Codebender or Chris's base used to be out kind of this way, and he took it down. Codebender wound up building all that up there for himself, even though he don't really play, but, yeah, whatever. And we got a bunch of portals over here. I got the portal to the Twilight Forest here, our mining world here, and, uh, creepy things keep coming out of here, so that's the reason why we have that there. That's, uh... The extended drawbridge from Tinker's Mech Works. Uh, of course, see all these daggum cobblestone monster eggs. Th those things like crop up everywhere. Like the last m possible moment, you'd be thinking. Oh, and this wasn't really spawned in creatively. Uh, believe it or not, there was a place somewhere out there that had uh, these end portal pieces and we just went and got the eyes so that way we can go to the end. We already done killed the Ender Dragon but I went and uh redid the world. I mean uh end. What am I trying to say? Regenerated the end. Good God. Oh hell no. Let me show y'all something. Y'all probably haven't been able to see too many of these guys, but that Isaac character, he is hard. It looks like he's just throwing water droplets at you, but them things hurt. See? Well, it only took half a heart because I got some good armor on, but man, let me tell you, them things are hard as hell to beat. I'm sure you already know. And if you don't, then there's some <laughs> information for you, some practical information for you. Oh yeah, Chris's base, sorry y'all. Sea Sheldon 69, the dude that was in first and a few other episodes with me. 
uh, made all this, and of course I screwed up some stuff, or creepers screwed it up, or whatever, but, uh, let's see here, he's into mechanism, and that's what I'm slowly kind of getting into now, too, whoa, wow, this concrete block really does make you go faster, oh, okay, yeah, the, here's his kitchen, he started building the kitchen, just didn't get around to finishing up everything, I guess, because he just came up here and built this one day, and then hasn't really been on since, but, uh, he's the type of person, if you get burned out on a game, then he loses interest in it, and he just don't want to play at all, so. Yeah, I give him time to get bored and come back to this, I guess, but, yeah, there ain't much to his base. Um, well, here, hold on. All this up here is just solar panels and, uh, whoops. Yeah, solar panels and some wind turbines for the nighttime. I think that's cool. It actually sits there and turns and everything. Okay, so the electrical age wind turbines actually make the whoosh whoosh sound as they're moving, but the mechanical me mechanism versions don't. Okay. And something else I've noticed with Morph 2, which eh, I can understand reason why I chun changed Morph, but, you know, you c it's sort of like OP, but man, it actually takes away like half of your hearts just to be in a different form. So, I guess it kind of gives you incentive to sit there and morph back into your real person. No, 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 uh, well, it's time for me to cut. My daughter just got home, so I'll be back. What's good, y'all? I'm back. It's a day later and a dollar short for me, as usual. But, uh, anyways, uh, there's been some changes around, as you can see. This is actually, like, two updates later from our mod pack. So we got a couple of new things going on, but, uh, a lot of actually different things. But finally fixed, uh, recipe conflicts. And there's my creepy looking head sitting there watching me again whatever anyways I got the recipe conflicts uh, fixed there's a m new mod called no more uh, recipe conflicts and it's actually pretty cool um, uh, dang it I don't have a, a stick with me I'll show y'all right quick how cool this mod is uh, if you're a derp like me it doesn't don't really know all that much about configuring Minecraft and mods and stuff, then you'll be very happy to see this. Uh, this is a weapon from Balkron's weapons mod, but the same recipe is supposed to be for a skillet from Pam's Harvest Craft, or Saucepan, excuse me. And all you gotta do is put in the same recipe, you know, whatever recipe that conflicts, and you just click this little button here, and then you can switch over to whatever, uh, <sighs> item that you're trying to craft or whatever so yeah that's pretty cool I think so uh, a lot of my uh, players on the server here are going to be quite pleased about that but uh, anywho <clears throat> what I wanted to get back to finally was oh yeah and zombie awareness I installed zombie awareness and now zombies are just like they're real I mean they actually sit there and seek you out and you actually bleed and stuff so let me get rid of these guys right quick and uh, just Bear with me right quick if you don't mind. This is not going to be another full-blown dying episode, I'm telling you right now. But look at that, I bleed everywhere, and they bleed too, and they can smell you, and yeah, so it's creepy. I gotta put doors down and stuff. But anyways, um, yeah, the manipulator, basically it does the job of the extractor and the condenser, or infuser, no, not the infuser, the... Whatever, it sits there and duplicates things for you. See, I could put one piece of obsidian, boom, 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 it all generates obsidian up until you run out of aether. Look at that. That is so cool. And all you gotta do is just take the item out and it'll start converting everything back into aether for you. And it just fills up everything. The best thing about this mod is the blocks all sit there and kind of connect to each other. They all will store it's like one big huge aether battery like all four of these blocks are all storing aether and all of them all of themselves whatever 
anyway, so that's the Aether Craft mod in a nutshell for the basic steps. Basically, all you really need is just the Aether Manipulator. It does not require power or anything. And just get a butt ton of obsidian, you know, by making an igneous extruder from thermal expansion or whatever have you, and there you go. I just want to make sure this thing is all sorted out. Oh, wait. Okay, that's as much as either as I can store. So, this other thing here, the ring of repair. Now, let's see if this thing works. And what it's supposed to do is actually supposed to sit there and repair your stuff automatically. Uh, which, of course, it's not doing right now. It didn't do it in the last video, but it, it does. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, look. If y'all look at the bottom there, you see my leggings going up. It's actually repairing my armor right now. So Okay, so first it sits there and repairs your armor, and then it'll go and start repairing your tools and stuff like that. See my chest plays? Yep, it's now full. And now it's gone to the helmet, and it's almost full too. Uh, oh, my battery over here is dead. Let me, whoops, activate my reactor right quick. Alright, so that's the Aethercraft in a nutshell. Creepy freaking looking head. We can't get rid of these daggum heads from Gravestones mod, because every time I do, it crashes the entire server. So, I'll leave a creepy looking head looking at me, whatever. Anyways, the next thing I want to get into is progressive automation. This is the second thing, this is second or third mod, I'm sorry, third mod that I wanted to get into for kind of starting off and too many freaking mods if you download this pack or if you're playing on the server with us and this is another progressive automation type deal here but what this thing needs is it needs coal and needs a pickaxe a shovel which obviously you can see from these icons here and it also needs like it, you can also put a little upgrade core in it I think that increases the range of it or something like that I'm not exactly sure uh, in all honesty, I should have probably did some more studying up on this before I started coming in here and trying to do a video about it, so, yeah, wah, 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 uh, man, there's just, honestly, there's just too much stuff that I want to show, but not enough time at the moment, and, uh, everybody's done, gone, seen through my base, I wanted to show off other people's bases, because we finally got, like, some new players up on the server and everything, and it's just really cool. Uh, dang it, there's my museum over that way. Um, I am going to go up here and come out this way and show you the YouTube museum I'm trying to start. Oh, no, God. Those are the worst. <gasps> no, 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 no. Frickin', 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 frickin'. Not the mod base. Oh, for once, I hate the Mr. Crayfish's barbed wire fence. Oh, usually, I like it. It kind of keeps these little buggers away from me, but... Oh, God. Oh, okay. Okay, now my heart's starting to slow down a little bit. I can get back to what I was saying. I just want to... I don't know. Whatever. Uh, oh yeah, lazy old dog's on the server with me tonight. He's usually never on. and The only reason he's able to get away with uh, being able to cheat stuff in is because he's our builder. He's our resident builder. And he's... He's alright about playing the game, but he just... He prefers to just build, which, you know, I can understand. And, you know... <sighs> whatever i mean if he wants to build fine that's his that's his forte let him build you know i just want to try to at least play the game but i probably do better i don't know why i look down that way i'll probably do better building myself but pff, whatever i wanted to show y'all at least the little statues monument i'm trying to build here a little museum type thing i guess and it's nothing big and special now as you can see i hadn't really completed it yet but found out about the statues mod and this is just like super cool alright uh... let's see we got old school or three four fours like one of my uh... fans we got iDead from iDead online he's a great youtuber i watch him all the time uh... lazy old dog that's the guy you saw in the corner getting stuff uh... max time he's one of our new players as well as mango johnny here 
Uh, Blade Clavin, he's actually another YouTuber that I found not too long ago that uh, just does a good little series called You Pick It Modded Survival. And I actually like his his stuff. Uh, it's just he doesn't seem like he's really doing it much not lately. Uh, it's been it seems like it's been a month since he's done anything. But anyways, okay, now he's in my way. Uh, there's King Daddy D Mac. He's one of the bigger YouTubers that I do watch. Uh, I don't really t watch too many U big YouTubers, but this is a statue of my wife's character, Blue Dolphin uh, Thing, who's a brand spanking newest player on the server uh he's come on here once or twice along with uh another friend of his named ziploc something uh this is chris sheldon or c sheldon whatever um from you know the earlier uh videos god i'm so tongue-tied y'all sorry about this uh it's cool zach 122 he's a, a cool cat from uh, gaming on caffeine another youtube uh channel that i follow uh, Ian B. Snooky, I don't know if y'all seen any of the Monster uh, series, but he used to play on our server as well, and he's a really cool dude, but he just kind of like disappeared and fell off the face of YouTube, so I don't know what's going on with him, but I hope he's doing good. Uh, let's see, this is Real TKH. Now, he's a dude that um, actually imported one of his uh, survival, uh, Let's Play Survival Worlds into the Monster server and was playing around on it and stuff before we started up with uh, Paradigm here. Uh, Vorsum, he's uh, gaming on Caffeine's buddy, so I just decided to add him too just because I could remember his screen name and I can't remember the other guys. I think his other guy was Janky Kev. I think this is Janky Nick. And if it's the wrong guy, I'm sorry. So sorry. Amethyst Error. This is our resident, one of our resident coders. Max Time over there also kind of codes here and there, and he helps out a lot too. But Amethyst Error. He definitely deserves his own little place because he sits there and he's actually trying to help fix the Aethercraft mod right now because the. Uh, no, it's not the manipulator. It's the. Oh, every damn time I always forget the name of the block but one of the Aether machines is messed up every time you try to access the GUI it messes up so he's fixing that for us so that's cool Codebender I'm sure you've been hearing me talk about him he's the one that built that humongous giant thing over the spawn area but uh, I wanted to show that off I'm going to expand the museum obviously and make it look a lot better and everything but that's just the start of it um I really, really, really want to show off some of the bases and stuff that's been going on around here, cause I'm just in, I'm just thoroughly impressed with everybody, cause I'm not really good at things. But uh will I'll show you Max Times base another time. He's his base is, you know, it's starting out and stuff. Codebender just has a little wooden type house over here. He's just starting off. I, I don't know. He's just, decide he wanted to build it. That's fine. Uh Amethyst's base. No, that's well that's his real base, but he also has another little structure up here. And the structure I gotta show you at least. Hopefully it doesn't spawn me into a wall or nothing. Okay, here we go. Yes, 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 yes. And we recently updated morph and when we updated morph I lost all my morphing abilities. So uh, guess what? I can't morph into a bat right now, so I'm gonna have to go find me and kill me a bat. But look at that! Dude! That is so cool, man! Here, let me... Wow, look at that. That is freaking awesome. From one side to the other, and back again. And all that is either made out of obsidian, or it looks like it's stone, or something like that. But, let me see if we can get a sneak peek in right quick. Uh... I always tend to look down at stone. Every single time I see a piece of stone out in the wild or something, I look at it because it might be a one of those Zelda secret rooms or something like that. But God, I hope I don't die. I already have not too much health. Uh, instant healing too. Sweet. Okay. Uh, do do do. <laughs> Whatever. That's better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, crud. I got down here in the water again. Super stupid. Oh, sorry, Amethyst. I'm tearing up your base, man. My bad. I had to come in here and check it out. Whoa. I'm sure he's going to be building, like, a lot more levels and stuff like that, but 
Okay, quarried block. Okay, so that's what the other half of his base is made out of. Fitted quarry stone. Okay. What the hell? What the what 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 hey, 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 hey. No. Dude. What I never known Ow! Ow, hey. I never known the uh oh, beacons from Minecraft. I think that looks it's supposed to be a regular old beacon from Minecraft. I never known it to hurt you like that. He must have some something, something else going on. I need to sleep right quick. So I can just get rid of all the most of the damn mobs. Uh okay, good. Sweet. Alright, and let's see the other side of his base. Ooh. What the Oh, creeper, 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 creeper. No. No escape. No solace. Uh, run like hell. Ah. Ah. Whoa. Ah. Ah. Okay, run, run, run like hell, run like hell. <gasps> no, 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 no. That little motherfucker is back. Uh. Uh. What? Hey. That's new over here. Hang on. I just found something. I have to see about this. Huh. I wonder if he started on this or something at one point. Huh. Whatever. Okay, so now I'm away from baddies. Let me try to see if I can't TP. Let me just at least TP to his, where he's actually currently working at. Last time I came here, there was a bunch of mobs and stuff trying to kill me and everything, so... See? I heard something explode. I done messed up his base, I'm pretty sure, but... Oh, well, I'm sure he'll forgive me, but... Yeah, he's he's big in Aethercraft, as you can see. He's already got the second tier or third tier. Yeah. Okay, this is the third tier, the Gilded, and then the reg this is the second tier, the infused versions of those machines and... Yeah, I actually went and died down that hole uh, in the last episode that y'all... Well, not the last episode. The un unaired half of this episode that y'all probably never see because it's not me talking at all. But, uh... Oh, he's got an enchantment table and everything. Oh, okay, this is from Necromancy. Oh, sweet. And, of course, a blood altar with blood runes and such. Patterns chest from Tinker's Construct. And this is all from Open Blocks, so... That's pretty cool looking. He's got a witchery oven going on with some deep storage. That's cool. Packager. We figured out we can sit there and package charcoals. Oh, I believe. Oh, that's right. That damn zombie awareness mod. I, yeah. So that's the reason why they were able to seek me out and whatever. So if you got this mod and uh, you find yourself dying too much because zombies come after you in an actual zombie apocalypse. Yeah, go ahead and disable zombie awareness, because that'll help you out, I'm sure. Uh, anyways, let me see here. We got enough time to go to Pops' base. I want y'all to see Pops' base, man. Lazy old dog. He's made this giant, freaking, enormous area. Let me spawn over here to this little island. And it did not work. Why you no work? Why, you'll know what everybody's heard that little saying, I'm sure. Whatever. Okay. And... <laughs> I can't win for losing, can I? I really can't. Uh, and I'm stuck in his bed. Really? Whatever. Alright. Back I go. <sighs> Creepy looking head. Alright. Let me get my shizwiz back. Uh, bump, 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 bump. Okay. And I don't have any... Uh... Oh, God. I got... Why do I keep spacing, man? I don't have... Uh, all my swords and shields and everything got lost in the quick draw slots. The battle gear two slots, I call them quick draws because I watch too much uh, D King Daddy D-Max, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is one of Lazy Old Dog's uh, buildings that he made. I think that's pretty cool looking. 
Uh, there's one of his ruins that he kind of took over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the reason why I wanted to go to Lazy Old Dog's base. Here, y'all check this out. All right. It'll take me a while to get over there, but it'll be so worth it. Trust me. <laughs> I'm just like, God, hurry up already. I just want to see some interesting stuff, not your dumbass walking around talking all the time. Yes, I know. I get it. But... I'm just not very good at making videos, as you can tell, so if you got any suggestions or anything, feel free to leave a comment, but whatever you do, don't like my videos. My videos suck, and I know it, so don't bother liking it. <laughs> Anywho, alright, last time this didn't work uh, for us, but hopefully this time it will, because I had him, I had Pops fix this, but this is the elevator mod from, or uh, dynamic transport mod from, uh, slime void and it's a real working elevator that doesn't work again always making me a liar every single flipping time Ugh, whatever okay there's another one that I know works somewhere did we ever get the red alloy wire working again oh okay yeah we did Sweet. Okay, so at least the red alloy wires work again, so Project Red got updated correctly. Good, 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 good. Alright, uh, back to the elevators. Now, I know there's another elevator he's got working. It's around here somewhere, but I just don't know exactly where. And I'm probably just going to go ahead and cut out, just so I will save some time and headache. Ah, uh, oh wait, wait, no, hold on. It's over here. There it is, way over there, way over there, way over there. Okay, hold on, y'all. Just bear with me. Well, I'll show y'all the inside of his base. Lacey Old Dog's bottom part of the base here. He's got a little small big reactor over there. But right now he's just kind of messing around with creative mode stuff. So I think he just built the big reactor just to see if he was able to actually do it. But, uh, wait, where did, oh, yeah, over here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is the little hidden one. Now. This sucker is the first one he made, and I know it's going to work. Yes, look at this. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. That is so cool. You can make your own elevator. You can make it as big as you want to, and it just rides up and down, and you can put any type of entity thing or whatever. <sighs> Hold on. I got the magnet thing that gets all the crap and things. <laughs> all right. Anyways, uh... Okay, what the hell? Do I have two helmets? Ugh, okay, whatever. Anyways, just stay out there. No, I'm just... Okay, stay right there. I hear creepy skeletons. Alright, anyways, just to show you, look. The head's still there, and we're both being moved up, so... I think that is cool. Like, any entities, like skeletons, mobs, cows, chickens, pigs cheap horse goats well not goats there's no goats yet but cats dogs whatever all that stuff will be raised up with this elevator so i think that's really cool well, here's the other part of his base i wanted to show y'all right quick uh this is his uh like army base like originally i wasn't gonna have uh player versus player enabled i just wanted everybody to just kind of have fun and build and derp around or whatever but Ever since we got Flans mod in here and working, everybody's talking about oh, creative this, or fighting this, doing that, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Oh, and Lazy Old Dog's up here, too, so we get to say hello to him. Hi, Lazy Old Dog. <laughs> he that probably doesn't even know what I'm recording. What the hell? He probably doesn't even know I'm recording right now, but... Ah, that was funny, though. <laughs> Must have been do doing stuff, doing something, and it just blew up. <laughs> we came right at the right time, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. Electrical Age. This is another cool mod that we have found, and we have uh, stuck in here. And we've actually had Electrical Age in here for a while, but this is the first time I'm showing y'all, but... Uh, so cool. I don't care. Now, the fluorescent lamps, they used to, like, actually turn on. Like, whenever you turn it on, they'd, like, blank and then go out and blank again, like real halogen lamps. But for some reason, they're not doing it now, so... And whatever. 
Uh, but yeah, this thing is like uber, super duper freaking long. I'm not even gonna about to run down that way because it'll take forever. So let me just dive into creative mode right quick. I apologize if y'all like it and y'all just go watch somebody else. Uh, oh yeah, we got uh, Aris Magica 2 in here now. Yes, so... so. Oh, and Mistcraft. Oh my god, finally Mistcraft got updated. And I did say this in the uh, the other part of the video that uh, got recorded that never is going to be uh, released because they didn't record my voice because I'm a derp. But anyways, yeah. Oh, and the reason the lights are floating is because we had extra utilities conflicting with uh, Electrical Age and then something else or whatever and we had to get rid of uh, extra utilities just to get the server up and running again but all the fencing is gone so he's gonna have to rebuild the whole fencing area so he's a little miffed about that but and whatever it'll give him something to do whoa oh yeah yeah Balkron's uh the cannon thing from Balkron's weapons mod that thing's pretty cool we we'll have to shoot it off sometime <laughs> uh don't have any ammo of course so yeah okay all right and this is the runway that he's making uh for the f-16 fighters and all the helicopters apache choppers all that crap from flans mod so he's making this big huge gargantuan base and i think it's just really cool looking so i'm impressed one way or another and there's the exit out so that way we can just pull in here park our stuff and pull through here and then take off going out that way and then voila so yeah I think that's cool um, that's about it for the time there's a lot of other stuff I want to show, show off to y'all guys but uh, I think I'll leave that for another episode because I've already <laughs> I've already died so many times I've had so much frustration going on and I'm sure y'all are tired of seeing me cuss and fuss and whatever so uh, I just think I'm going to go ahead and cut it here uh, over here at the bottom part of lazy old dog's base show you the inside of here like I said there isn't too much to it it's just for the time being he's got a big reactor down here and then we got a zombie villager he knows exactly where I am because I'm bleeding or he can hear me or he can smell me or something I don't know I'll all these zombies are ugh, they're killing me. That's what they're doing. They're killing me. Uh, this looks like an extension. Oh, okay. So this is where the elevator is. Oh, okay. So this is the other side of the... Right. I don't even know why I'm bothering to go over here to see that. Sorry, y'all. Um, I should have just went ahead and did it off. But I'm so curious. I have to go and look at everything, don't I? <laughs> but anyways... Um, Uh, I'm delaying, delaying. Why? I don't know. No. Did he just put these down? Because that's from extra utilities. He must have just now put those fences down because we took it off. Spawn Komodo. Oh, that must be a, one of those dragon lizard things from the lizards mod. Okay, cool. Anyways, well, okay, so y'all get the gist. He's made a cool, fancy looking base with some stuff and hadn't really made any machines yet. Eventually, I'm going to get into making machines and doing some more progressive automation and some more other mods and stuff and things. And, oh, man, I said the... Uh, whatever. Who cares? I said other people's catchphrases, so what? I have my own catchphrase, too. Yomp! <laughs> Don't I sound stupid? Yomp, I sure do. <laughs> anyways, uh... Yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got one more thing to show y'all just right quick, okay? If y'all don't want to see it, y'all go ahead and turn it off now. It's nothing big or major or special or nothing. But this is going to take forever, so let me just hop over here. Come on. There we go. This is the area where, if y'all saw that big, huge spider thing, this is the area where it was, I think? No. This... Okay, wait a minute. He's got another one. Okay, there's two of these suckers. There's that destroyed one. That Okay, here's the second one. Okay, that's where the spider was. Okay, so it was in between the two walls. And the big freaking spider was around there somewhere. So if y'all seen that uh, 
Y'all seen that video? That's where it was. So yeah. Um, I wonder if this is the one they fixed. No, this ain't the one he fixed. Ah, eh, well, whatever. Y'all saw the elevator, so yeah. It's a code door. Y'all actually, you actually have to have a password for this. And that's really cool. It's from Advanced Repulsion Systems, as you can see from Wally up at the top there. So. All you gotta do is just put it down. You uh, you enter a password for the first time. It'll have a little set button uh, underneath the enter button. There, I'll have an uh, set right underneath that. You type in the code that you want and press set, and voila, it's done. You always have to enter the code every time you want to go into that door. So I think that's cool. Will it work? No, denied. <laughs> but anyways, uh, until next time, everybody. Y'all take it easy, enjoy the game, and whatever you do, don't like my freaking videos. I suck, and you know it, so don't like my daggum videos. But if you have any comments or anything, any ideas or stuff that you want to see, uh, please, by all means, leave a comment and tell me something you'd like to see. I'm going to try to see if I can't get a full listing of all the mods that are in our mod pack, but... 287 now as of too many freaking mods version 4. Point, um, version 0 0.44 that's a lot of mods to list through so, so I want to list all the mods I also want to list all the websites for all the mod authors because the mod authors deserve all the recognition so I think that's pretty cool but anyways <laughs> alright y'all be good take it easy What's good, everybody? I just want to come in and show you this right quick. Pops has been working on this thing. It's one of the Electrical Age uh, defense turrets from the Electrical Age mod. <laughs> That's so cool. I swear it sounds like the turrets from Aichun's uh, Portal Gun mod. Hopefully that mod gets updated to 1.7.10 eventually. We're going to throw that sucker in here. But look at this. All these damn zombies all over the place. God, we do need these defense, tur defense turrets. Is that thing shooting at me? Oh. Shoot at the mobs. Don't shoot at me. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Alright, I just had to pop in right quick and uh, see, uh, show this to y'all. Anyways, take it easy again. <laughs>